The fan is usually located behind the radiator, and in most cases is mounted on the water pump drive flange. The purpose of the cooling fan is to maintain an adequate airflow through the radiator, particularly at low road speeds and under engine idle conditions. The radiator needs a constant flow of air through the core to cool sufficiently. At high speeds, plenty of air is already flowing through the radiator because of the vehicle's movement. But at low speed or when the engine is idling, extra airflow comes from a fan. If the fan is always working at full speed, it's a waste of energy. And since the engine drives the fan, it's a waste of fuel too. To control the fan speed we need, in some way, a heat-sensitive switch in contact with the coolant that can work like a thermostat and turn the fan on and off according to coolant temperature. Another way to alter the speed of the fan is with a viscous hub. This type of fan slips when it is cold, but as the engine heats up, it grips more and more. Care must be taken with the design of the fan, as the amount of power absorbed in driving the fan increases with engine speed. Furthermore, by increasing the number of blades, the fan size can be reduced and improvements in efficiency obtained. The fan assembly is carefully balanced before being fitted to the engine, so care should be taken not to bend or distort the blades as this can result in out-of-balance forces sufficient to cause damage. If a fan becomes bent or damaged, it should be replaced. Fans can be driven in different ways, belt-driven or electric. Modern vehicles now use an electric fan. Electric fans can be behind the radiator, in front, or both. The electric fan is driven by 12V DC motor and turns on off at specific temperatures. The electric fans are controlled with the help of the engine coolant temperature sensor, ECT, which monitors the engine temperature and sends the information to the ECU. When the temperature of the coolant rises above the set temperature, the cooling fan turns on. When the temperature of the coolant decreases, the radiator fan stops drawing air through the radiator. Fan blades can be rigid or flexible. Rigid blades tend to be noisy and use more energy. This noise can be reduced by using irregular spacing of the fan blades. Some vehicles use a shroud to direct all of the air that the fan moves through the radiator core, making the radiator more efficient. Also provides safety from the spinning fan blades. On air-conditioned cars, a second fan is mounted, and it runs whenever the AC is turned on. In some vehicles, the radiator fans are driven by the crankshaft. When an engine is mounted longitudinally, its fan is usually mounted on the water pump shaft. The drive belt then turns the water pump and fan. A viscous clutch is a temperature-sensitive device that controls the engine cooling fan speed by using a silicone-based fluid to transfer power between the engine and the fan. A viscous clutch consists of an input shaft connected to the engine pulley, an output housing, where the fan is mounted, two interleaved shear plates, a valve, and a temperature sensor, bimetal. When the engine is cold, the clutch allows the fan to spin slowly or disengage. But as the engine heats up, a bimetallic strip opens a valve, directing more fluid to the shear plates, increasing viscosity, and engaging the fan to provide necessary airflow for cooling.
The main difference to the bimetal controlled viscous clutch is that the silicone oil flow, and thus the fan speed is not controlled through the bimetal but through an electromagnet. The solenoid controls fluid flow, regulating fan speed, and an internal hall effect sensor monitors fan speed.